All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to my Call of Duty journey part three. The gameplay you're gonna be watching in the background is 124 to nine, playing solo on some carrier multi-team hardpoint. You see the class setup and everything. Uh, every time I die, you'll see and all that type of stuff. I don't really explain it. I want to spend as much time talking about the commentary topic as I can. So this is part three. If you guys missed part one or part two, you should probably check those two out. Otherwise, this may not make that much sense to you. But basically, I'm kind of going through my journey of how I got into Call of Duty and what I did for like each Call of Duty. And uh, pretty much everything I did that got me to where I am today. So anyways, the last video left off with the end of Black Ops 1 and the beginning of Modern Warfare 3 and also the beginning of my YouTube channel. So I'm going to say around August of the end of Black Ops 1. This was also the time that the Express playlist came about, and it was also the time that I quit playing Xbox. So, in August, uh, I started school, or I started college, actually, and I didn't play Xbox anymore, um, obviously, because I moved and everything. So, uh, pretty much for the most of Modern Warfare 3, I was at school, and I didn't really play very much, and I think right in December uh, is when I started my YouTube channel. December, so a month after Modern Warfare 3 came out, and December was also when I joined Evil X and left AT, the original AT, yeah, and yeah, so that's kind of like a little timeline of events of that, and basically, so the beginning of Modern Warfare 3, we, first thing we did was we tried to play Demolition, didn't really work out that well, the spawns were flipping, it was extra spawns, like, Modern Warfare 3 Demolition wasn't really anything like Black Ops 1, so we were, we were kind of disappointed in it. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Then we moved on to Domination. We found Dome Domination and Mission Domination were both very good. And we pretty much did that all the way up until New Year's. The first week of January, I believe, is when uh, Domination spawns got, like, patched throughout the whole, like, you know, playlist. And I got the 144 and 4, that famous, uh, or infamous video. I got that in late December, like the last week of December. I think it was, like, right after Christmas I got that. And that kind of like jump started the whole YouTube thing for me. And anyways, I was 10th prestige in Modern Warfare 3 by January. Okay, also one thing I should also make clear. Um, okay, so the only time I played Modern Warfare 3 was on vacations. So pretty much only played it for two main vacations. I played it during winter break and spring break. So that was about, I'll say about a total of a month that I, that I got of playtime in Modern Warfare 3. And... I had to like make my YouTube videos in that month as well, so I pretty much uh, somehow put together a YouTube channel and all of that, and only playing Modern Warfare 3 for two separate occasions. Um, you know, for a whole six months, I managed to get six months of videos in a month. So that was pretty crazy. I don't know how I did that, uh, but I did. But anyways, then summer came around, obviously, and I was back home. I could you know focus on YouTube and everything. I didn't have school or anything like that to, to uh, worry about, and I started messing around with other games and stuff when Summer came out, because at this time, we couldn't trap anymore, and I really didn't like Modern Warfare 3, I was kind of bored of it, so I went back and started posting the Black Ops 1 on YouTube and stuff, um, this is right when I left Evil X as well, and I brought back AT, so my gamer tag was Birdman AT, uh, this is probably like, the more uh, known gamer tag that I have, a lot of people don't know that it used to be in the front and stuff like that, so anyways, um, we, we kind of came back to Modern Warfare 3 a little bit. We learned a little about kill, con kill confirm trapping. Uh, we did some arcade and, you know, we did some of the other maps. And it wasn't, it was it just really wasn't fun. Then we discovered Sabotage. And Sabotage was pretty fun. It was Mission and Dome Sabotage were the main two good ones. And uh, I uploaded some videos of both of those. And that kept us, you know, occupied for like a little bit more. But we kind of had to quit doing that because everyone started getting banned from that. So we quit playing Sabotage. And we started playing Ground War, but we would play with a full nine-man party. Everyone was, like, running assault and stuff. But it was still pretty fun, and we started playing, like, we in the beginning, we played, like, every map. Well, not every map, but we played the majority of the maps. Uh, we played, like, Fallen, Interchange, Resistance, and Village. And I'm trying to think if we played any other maps. I don't know. But basically, towards the end of it, we pretty much only played Interchange and Resistance. Uh, those were the two maps. Those were pretty fun. And then... Pretty much that took me all the way up until July. And in July, obviously, Terminal came out. Everybody knows what happened with Terminal. I dropped the Septa Moab, all that stuff. Um, you know, all that good shit happened, you know, in July. And that led me all the way up until about August is when we trapped Terminal. 
And during this time, I also started doing some support stuff, uh, playing with subscribers and everything. And I uploaded some support, 100 plus gameplays and stuff. I mainly pretty much just ran Assault. I rarely ran Specialist. I don't know, I just liked running Assault. I always have liked running, you know, Lethal Kill Streaks. It's just, just the way I like to play Call of Duty, so that's what I did. Had some pretty solid gameplays throughout that whole month with support and everything. And that brought me all the way up until August once again. And this time, you know, it's um, I had to go back to school and... I didn't really get to play very much once again, so this leads me all the way up until the beginning of Black Ops 2, and I didn't really care about playing. I had enough videos saved up over the summer and stuff, uh, or enough gameplays and everything that it was easy for me to just, you know, use the gameplay, make the video, upload it. It wasn't really a big deal. I wasn't really concerned with YouTube or anything like that at this time. I was I was pretty much sick of Modern Warfare 3. I was just, you know, just, you know, biding my time until Black Ops 2 comes out. And then I was going to be excited because at this point in time I thought, oh my god, Black Ops 2 is going to be like the best thing ever uh, for spawn trapping for everything, like, you know, because Black Ops 1 was so good for it. And, you know, I guess I was pretty disappointed, kind of, in the beginning when Black Ops 2 came out. But then Black Ops 2 turned out to be a really good game for me, at least, in my opinion. Probably my second favorite, or maybe tied with my first favorite Call of Duty, uh, along with Black Ops 1. But nothing beats Black Ops 1 trapping. But anyways, so yeah, now... You know, fast forward a couple months, I was just chilling, you know. Black Ops 2 comes out in November. And the beginning of Black Ops 2, it was started out pretty slow for me. We, we tried Demolition. was pretty much a fail. We hated it. Spawns were flipping. It weren't fixed. There was a bunch of spawns. It was pretty garbage. We said, alright, fuck this. I'm not doing Demolition anymore. Then we tried to start doing Capture the Flag. Now, the original thought, what we did was, we tried to do Nuketown Capture the Flag. And the problem with that was, there was so many tryhards in that Nuketown playlist that we were like, you know, I don't really want to play these tryhards. And the way the spawns were, it was kind of annoying to do and stuff. And the, it was just, it wasn't as good as it could have been. So then, I came up with the idea that, you know, we should try to play Hijacked. And we tried it out. It was really good. We enjoyed it. And I forgot how, but for some reason, um, we started out in core, and then somebody told me to try hardcore instead, and they said that like, guardians are like amazing or something, and they like one-hit people. So, you know, long story short, we tried out hijacked hardcore CTF with the guardians, ended up being amazing, and you know, I pretty much did that all the way up until, you know, 10th prestige. And so, pretty much, I would say from November... Up until January, all I pretty much did was spawn trap, you know, hijack CTF the majority of the time. I hadn't really messed with league play or competitive or or hard point yet. Um, I, we did also a little bit of demolition, uh, and then I kind of I kind of got into free for all for like a solid week or two because I was really obsessed with getting the nuked out title, and then I was just enjoying free for all. So I you know got into free for all for a bit, did that. And um, this leads me up until about February. And in February, Hijacked had been removed, or not removed, but the spawns, they had added extra spawns and all this stuff. And it was pretty garbage, you know, hardcore CTS spawn trapping had died. And we were looking for something new to play, you know, we were trying out HQ, we were trying out Demo, we were trying out, you know, Domination. We didn't really like any of those. And people were telling me to play Multi-Team Hardpoint. And I discovered multi-team hardpoint around February, so I wasn't even one of the original people to play it. Um, you know, I I can't imagine how good that playlist would have been if I had played it from like day one. Like Jesus, like all the noobs that must have been in there, that would have been so cool. Uh, but anyways, you know, when I started playing, it was still a pretty good time. It was still a pretty solid playlist. Um, it wasn't anything like the terrible playlist it is now. Um, but back in the day, it was it really was fun. So anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. I think that's a good good ending point. Um, you know, where I discovered multi-team in Black Ops 2, because that pretty much changed the type of player that I am, and without that, I probably wouldn't be nearly as good as I am today. I'd probably just, you know, be pretty average pub stomper who's good at spawn trapping. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I want to end the video with that, so the next one will pick up with multi-team and probably all the way up until Ghost. That's, I don't know, actually, there's probably a lot for me to say for Black Ops 2, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Be sure to leave a like rating on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Part 1 and Part 2 are also in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day, guys, and peace out.